What does this first sentence say here? It says, There are broke down. Broke down. And the rain? Continue to pour. Raul and Abby were famished. Everybody say that word. Famished. Since they had not eaten all day. There's a new word there, isn't there? Famished. Okay? There's a new word, but some of you already are using your minds to try to think about that new word. So, Mr. Jordan, what's the new word, first of all? Famished. So, we have this new word, famished, right there. Now, are there some words, Deshaun, that you saw that might help you figure out what famished might be? He said right here. So, I'm going to box those just like they kind of did on the video clip, right? So, Raul and Abby had not eaten all day. And so they're famished. What do you think that might mean? Oh, they're they're tired. Tired. They're starving. Starving. Hungry. Did the sentence tell us they were starving and hungry? No. No, they used that new word, famished. So we're going to put that right here. So let's reread the sentence. And the first time, let's put this in there. And then the second time, we'll put our other word and see if it makes sense. So Raul and Abby were starved. starved since they had not eaten all day. How's that sound? Love. Sounds kind of good, right? And then let's try the other word. Raul and Abby were hungry since they had not eaten all day. Yes. You know what? You looked at word famished up in the dictionary, you'd find out that it means to be hungry. It means to be starved. She said there's this word pace. What else came with pace? Increasing. So we've got this whole phrase. Increasing their pace. Now, pace is another one of our vocabulary words this week, right? Yeah. So, Leah, what does pace mean? Fast or slow? Now, considering it says increasing, that means we must be moving less. Increase. Increase means to go up. So, pace to must mean we're trying to go faster. So, AC, let's just put faster. So, let's see if that sounds right. Increasing their pace to a faster gallop, they hope to find a dry place to rest soon. So, as we looked at this passage, does everybody see how you can use sentences and the words in sentences to actually help you figure out new words? Yeah. Because there's probably one of these words up here that you hadn't seen before today. And when you do that, that's called using context clues. Okay? Using context clues. When you get to your stations today, those of you in the vocabulary station, you are going to be doing that. You're going to be looking at your card, and you're going to be trying to use the clues in the sentence. That's going to be group three and then group four. Let me explain stations and I'll get to your question. So groups three and four, vocabulary, okay? Um, group four will be meeting with me first. Group three with me second. Groups one and two, one will be with Miss Cordes. You will be looking at your story, Tuckett's Travels. You will be going back through that story. That's in your textbook. Making sure to pay attention to the events that happen, right? The events that happen in the story. And then if you have time, you'll be working on the writing, the your turn. And that'll be group one first, and then group two. Group two, you'll be starting on the computers first. Notice you have two choices. If you are somebody who works with the Achieve stories, you need to do your Achieve story first. If you are not, then you should be working with Odyssey, reading, your choice, whichever section that you want to work with, okay?